want to talk about something different. I want to actually talk about the mental side of running. So this is something that people struggle with, especially during the Couch to 5K course. Basically getting to the point, especially when we lose the interval. So we move into the phase where we're talking about maybe 20 minutes non-stop running, for example. And often what's common is that people find that it takes maybe up to about 10 minutes to actually get into their rhythm when they're running. And I think a really good tip generally is never judge a run by the first 10 minutes. So give yourself a chance to get into a rhythm, um, to get the aerobic system fully up and running, because chances are by the time you get to the 11th minute, you're going to be feeling a lot more in your groove. But what's really going to be your enemy in this is negative internal thoughts. So we really have to practice, as much as we practice our technique, we have to practice, basically, positive internal dialogue. So rather than focusing your attention on, for example, five minutes in, oh blimey, I'm really feeling like I'm out of puff, or blimey, my legs feel heavy, what I want you to do is think about, overall, if you were to actually draw up a little pie chart of what goes on inside your head, um, then, you know, how, where, where's the bias? So are you spending 100% of the time whilst you're running thinking about all those negatives? So for example, my legs hurt, I'm out of puff, you know, perhaps, oh, look at that person, they're looking at me. Anything negative going on inside your head, what's that gonna do? It's just gonna make you want to stop, okay? So what else should you be thinking about during your run? Well, a more positive thing perhaps would be, okay, Let's think about my technique. Am I nice and tall with my posture? Am I basically touching the ground with the ball of my foot? First of all, all those little technique pointers, high cadence that we've reviewed in earlier videos. So some of your time is now going to be spent on that. And this is the time inside your head. However, even if you spent the time thinking about technique, sooner or later, that's gonna wear a little bit thin as well. So this is the key, the mental key to running is starting to harness the power of detaching the body and the mind. So it's a little bit when you're driving, you find yourself sometimes arriving at a place in your car and you get that weird moment when you think, I almost don't remember being in the intermediate places on the journey. Why? because it starts to become subconscious if it's a route you're familiar with. You get in a state of flow. This is what we want to achieve with our running. Our mind starts to wander and our body just gets into that natural rhythm that we barely even think about it. This is the holy grail of running, folks. If you can get into that state, it's sometimes called a state of flow, where everything just starts, starts happening without it feeling like a mental struggle. Now that's not gonna help happen overnight, but here's what I want you to practice. I want you to practice, and it's so much better. This is why outdoors running is so much easier in many respects. There's distractions, yeah? There's things to look at. Um, where we uh, run often in Lydiard Park, it's a beautiful park. There's a lake, there's swans and ducks in the lake, there's people out walking their dogs, just families playing, lots of things just to distract the mind from, my legs are hurting, I'm out of puff, etc. So now if we go back to this pie chart, we've got a little bit thinking about maybe those negatives, that's inevitable, but I only want you to think about that to the extent that that then informs the technique refresh. Yes, yeah, so you're reviewing in your head, Okay, my knees are hurting. Why are my knees hurting? Perhaps it's because I'm leaning forward. I need to get more upright. Yeah? So that's the only reason you should humour those thoughts, only to the extent it helps you correct the technique. Then, you've got a little bit on the negatives, very small bit now. You've got a bigger bit, a bigger chunk segment of that pie chart focusing on technique correction. All the rest of it, yeah, I want you to try to make it thinking about anything other than running. So it could be, you know, just 
It could be thinking about, you know, your to-do list, what you're going to have for tea tonight. It could be thinking about, oh, that's a, that's a pretty bird, or there's a squirrel running up the tree. Anything, random ladies. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Look at that. Look at the wonderful sky. Yeah? Now, there's one last segment of that pie chart that you probably are thinking, what's left? What haven't we spoken about that goes through your brain when you're running? So the last major thing, ladies, is probably, and it's if you've got one of these, a Garmin or something similar, Fitbit, telling you what speed you're going at, telling you how far you've gone. Now, again, it's inevitable that you might be going to use that a little bit if you've got one, but try not to obsess about it too much, okay? Try not to go every 20 seconds and look at that watch, because if you do, what's the positives, yeah? The positives might be, oh, I've done quite well, okay, which is fine, but what's that going to do? If anything, it might encourage you to slow down when you don't need to. Um, if you think, oh, blimey, I haven't gone far, this is a very common one, you look at your watch after five minutes and you think, oh, goodness me, I've only done, you know, a few um, metres or whatever, that's negative, yeah, it's negative. Try not to look at your watch too much. Okay, try not to obsess about it. If you're um, trying to do a target pace or whatever, obviously look at it occasionally. Um, but again, try to make that a relatively small part of your pie chart. Otherwise, you'll be just spending the whole time going, oh, blimey, I've only done another 100 meters, and it will just start feeling like hard work. So, in summary, ladies, what goes on inside your head is of crucial importance when you are running. If we keep the internal dialogue positive, that will translate naturally into you basically finding it easier when you are running. If you crack that, ladies, that's almost more important than getting some of the finer technical details of the running right, because that will make you start to fundamentally enjoy running so it feels less like a chore. That's when you're gonna get the consistency and that's when you're going to start improving. Hope you find that useful, ladies. As ever, if you um, are watching this on YouTube, please do take a moment just to give it a like and also write.